Honorable Chair of Congress, Mr. Secretary General, Mr. Deputy Secretary General of the Congress, Your Excellencies, Distinguished Delegates, Colleagues, Friends, Good evening, everyone. Now, I'm sitting here today humbled by the trust extended to me by the UPU members. I sincerely thank 102 the member countries that supported my candidacy. You always encouraged me throughout this wrong election campaign. I thank all the member countries that did not support my candidacy. You reaffirmed me the necessity of not staying in the present position, but of moving forward. I think the other two candidates, Mr. Pascal Kribas, Mr. Jack Hammond, they, I learned a lot from them. I thank my country, Japan, which taught me how we should contribute to the world as Japanese. I thank every member of my campaign team for the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, from the Ministry of Internal Affairs of Communications, and Japan Post. Thanks to your tremendous efforts, I'm now sitting here. And I feel all of you uh, sitting here beside me. Finally, I thank my family. They supported me during this campaign for almost three years. I wish I could tell this result to my father in law who passed away last October. As I have mentioned many times, I promise again, I will always work for all the UPU member countries by listening to each voice carefully and by considering your difference. The road ahead will not be easy. However, our predecessor did. We must appropriately respond to change of the time and move forward as an organization that is truly needed by customers and society. I ask all the member countries to keep your faith our future will be bright. It may seem dark now, but I will work hard to grasp opportunities and collaborate with you and our deputy director, Mr. Marian, and international bureau staff to achieve them. I sincerely ask for your continuous support and trust as the UPU marks its 150th year and marches forward, we will respond to the demands of our customers and society. Let us move the UPU forward. Thank you. <laughs> 